Eu não falo português, but I'm learning. Oi, meus amigos. Hoje eu vou praticar falar em português. Did I say it right? I feel like Portuguese would be a hard language for me to learn how to speak, but as Jesus has said, faith can move mountains. So how hard can it really be? This video is for my followers from Brazil, Portugal, and my followers from other countries who for some weird reason learned how to speak Portuguese. It's a beautiful language though, but uh, Every language is beautiful as long as you know how to speak. <laughs> Vamos começar. Prazer em conhecê-la. Hi, I'm Paloma. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oi, meu nome é Paloma. Prazer em conhecê-lo. Oi, mi nome é Paloma. It's not Paloma, it's Bruno. <laughs> Oi, mi nome é Bruno. I forgot the rest of it. Oi. Mi nome é Bruno. Prazer em conhecê-lo. Oi, meu nome é Paloma. Prazer. Oi, meu nome é pa... Meu nome Oi, é Bruno. Meu nome Prazer. é Paloma. Prazer. When introducing yourself in Brazil, it's polite to shake hands. Makes This sense. is used in informal situations. In a more informal situation, people may kiss you on the cheek. The number of kisses may vary from person to person or region. All right, now this is getting weird. I mean, I'm from Albania, so we kiss each other on the cheek as well there. But this number of kisses looks a bit confused. <laughs> hey, I just kissed you once. I hate you. Hey, I kissed you four times and a half. <laughs> you owe me money. <laughs> If I don't have much time, I'll just kiss you once. <laughs> because... because You don't want to waste time kissing, you know? I mean, what if the other person has a rough skin? You know, there's... <laughs> and you're like, uh, I don't want to kiss them. <laughs> what if they have mud on their face? Do I have to kiss them? It's a... It's a pretty interesting question. <laughs> Now I'm gonna learn how to thank people in Portuguese. And I really need to thank my Brazilian followers for, for their likes and comments and everything on my Instagram. So uh, this is going to be useful. Obrigado. 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 Obrigado means Ob thank you. Okay. To say thank you very much, you just need to add muito in the beginning. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Meu followers from Brazil. <laughs> Tudo bem. Tudo bem. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Tudo bem means Tudo bem. is everything fine? We have a couple of different ways to say goodbye. You may say ciao. Ciao, ciao means bye. Ciao. This is like Italian. You can also say see you soon. See Até soon. mais. Até mais. Até mais. See you soon. You also have adeus, which means goodbye. Adeus. But you usually use it when the person is leaving somewhere far or you're not going to meet for some time. So these goodbye things, I don't have to learn them in any language. I don't need to learn the word for goodbye. Because I can just be like this. <laughs> And everyone in every language gets it. Non-verbal uh, things are different. For example, in some traditions, this means yes. But in some others, this means no. And they can be really confusing, you know. Like, say you go to, like, a tribe or something. And they're like, uh, do you want us to kill you and eat you? And you do that. But that in that tradition means yes, so uh, you're f I need to use the bathroom real quick. Adeus. Boa noite. Good evening. Boa noite. Boa noite the way you greet people at night. Boa so noite. you can say good evening. Boa noite, mom. No, it wasn't mom. Boa noite, ma. Eu vou, eu vou a dormir. Por favor, você pode me trazer um pouco de água? Por favor, você pode me trazer um pouco de água? Com licença, senhor. Que hora seu? It means what time is it? You need to go to the restroom and you don't know where it is. You can I say, this. onde fica o banheiro? Onde fica o banheiro? I need to learn this because I drink a lot of water. And I need to go to the bathroom a lot. And I eat a lot of spicy food. So I need to go to the bathroom a lot and spend a long time there. Because this time is for the second thing. Where's the restroom? Or if you want to find that beautiful beach that you heard about, you can say, onde fica a praia? Where 
to the beach. Aren't you fick a prior? Why does she at first teach us to say where's the bathroom? And then she says where's the beach? Maybe in Brazil if you can't find a bathroom, just go do whatever you're gonna do at the beach. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, I mean where's the bathroom? I need to do the second thing. Oh there's no bathroom here. There's the beach. <laughs> now I'm gonna learn some funny Portuguese expressions. Queimar as pestanas. Queimar as pestanas. Which literally means to burn the eyelashes. To burn the eyelashes. Is that a common thing there in Brazil? Like burning someone else's eyelashes? Because I'm not coming. <laughs> I love my eyelashes. Oh, it's still this guy that always says perfect after you say something without even hearing what you said. He might say that expression and I say poop and he's gonna say perfect. How is it perfect? I didn't say what you wanted me to say. I said poop. Liar. Estar com os azeites. Estar com azeites. Oh my god, so many zh in Portuguese. Zh. Expression number five is Agua Bela Barba. Which Agua Bela Barba. Agua Bela Barba. Literally means Water up his beard. Water up his beard. I don't need this because I don't have a beard. This expression is used when something requires a lot of work. <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> so apparently in Brazil to put water up your beard, <laughs> it requires a lot of work. Here's water. Here's my imaginary beard. That's it. Growing a beard, that's hard work. You get itches and stuff, you know. You know why I don't like growing a beard? Because you know when you drink milk and sometimes it gets spilled, imagine that beard full of milk and so it looks like... Ugh. Or what if your beard is on fire? There was fire in the forest today and the cause was that this guy went out of his house without realizing his beard was on fire. <laughs> and now the whole forest is on fire. Agua bella bar. Well done. Expression How do you know? Six is a sombra de bananeira. A sombra de bananeira. Means under the shade of the banana tree. Under the shade of the banana tree. No worries. Macacos me mordam. Which Ma literally means. Macacos me mordam. Macacos me mordam. Means monkeys are biting me. Monkeys are this biting me. This expression is you. Are there monkeys in Brazil? That's cool. When someone is intrigued or surprised, now it's your turn to say it. Macacos me mordam. Macacos me mordam. You got it. Vai pentear macacos. Vai pentear macacos. Which literally means go come monkeys. This expression is used to tell someone to get lost or go away. Get lost. Now it's your turn to say it. Vai pentear macacos. Vai pentear macacos. I'll tell someone to get lost or go away if they are like super super overweight and they would come to me and you know, give me gym advice. I would say, vai pentar macacos. You know, just because I don't want to say it in English, because I don't want to insult them. You know, it's cool when you know a language that the other person doesn't speak, because you can be angry, you can say stuff, but maybe you can smile, so you say, vai pentar macacos. And they think like, oh, this guy doesn't speak English, but he was very nice to me. He doesn't know you said, Get lost. Engolir sapos. Engolir sapos. Which literally means to swallow frogs. Oh my god. This expression is used when you have to do something that you don't want to. Engolir sapos. Well done. Falar pelos cotovelos. Falar pelos cotovelos. Falar pelos cotovelos. I know falar is speak. Which Stop. literally means to speak by the elbows. To speak by the this elbows. This expression means to speak too much. This I'm gonna tell to my friends who speak a lot. So I'm nice to them, I'm like, stop talking so much. Because you, you never say anything interesting. So in order for them not to feel insulted and go be in depression or other stuff they might do, you know, go eat pizza, be overweight, depression, then their whole life goes in a misery. And why? Just because I told them, you talk too much? But I won't tell them, hey, you talk too much. I'm going to say, falar pesos cotovelos. And I'm gonna smile, they're gonna say, what did you say? 
Oh, I'm saying something in Portuguese. It means I love what you're saying. Keep talking. <laughs> you know, I would really love to visit Brazil because I love warm places. And uh, you know, I'm gonna learn some expressions now which I feel that I would need to use if I would come there. First one, as always, like I said, is uh, where's the bathroom? Or like you guys do it there, where's the beach? <laughs> Let me think, what would I say at the first moment I land in Brazil? I think I would say, do you like my muscle? <laughs> Você gosta dos meus músculos? <laughs> and you should always say, adoro elas. So I say, you like my muscles? You say, adoro elas. Or you can say, you're so dumb. All you think about is muscles. What about the brains? Apparently, you are dumb is said, você é idiota. Você é idiota. Você é idiota. Another expression I would really need to use is uh, I ate spicy food and I really need to go to the bathroom. Eu comi comida picante e preciso ir ao banheiro. Eu comi comida picante e preciso ir ao banheiro. <laughs> they probably wouldn't understand me if I talk like that because it doesn't make sense to them probably because I'm saying it differently. So I'll just... <laughs> Just try to say to them in sign language like spicy, <laughs> spicy food and <laughs> I just figured it out and I'm ready to come to Brazil now. So since they probably won't understand me when I say, hey, I ate spicy food and I really need to use the bathroom, I'll just show them this picture on my phone. <laughs> They'll get it, right? I mean, they won't get the spicy food part, but they get the idea. I just hope they don't say, oh, there's a beach down there. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. Like, when I was in my country once, I was swimming. And yeah, I saw... Uh, how can I say it? It's not insulting. I saw some poop just floating in the water. And good thing I wasn't opening my mouth. <laughs> In those moments, like, you know, when you swim, like, do the thing, and you're like, you open your mouth because you have to breathe. <laughs> and just imagine, open your mouth, and they're going in, like, I don't know what I would do after that, but my life would probably never be the same. The worst thing would be if uh, I really enjoyed the taste of it. <laughs> nah, nope. I just imagine it right now and uh, it's two o'clock I don't think I'll be able to eat anything for the rest of the day that's nasty I really need to vomit now sorry guys another expression I would want to use is uh, can I take my shirt off here because I have a six pack and I want to show off loser você é idiota everyone has a six pack here in Brazil <laughs> And they do, you know. You have to be at the beach all the time. You have to get ripped. That's why I don't like winter. Nobody even knows if you're fit or not under that big jacket that you're wearing. <sighs> take me to Brazil. <laughs> Can I take my shirt off here in Portuguese would be Posso tirar minha camisa aqui? And the Brazilian people would usually respond to me Você é un estúpido <laughs> That in Portuguese means you are stupid And to that I would respond Você está certo <laughs> Meus amigos adorei falar em português But now I have to go because I need to use the bathroom <laughs> Do I need to show you that picture? You get the English, right? <laughs> Obrigado por assistir Dê um like e assine ao meu canal. You didn't understand that, right? Anyway, just I was trying to say, never mind. Ciao. Thanks a lot. Obrigado.